Well, guys, after making the introduction of the 2020 New York Giants franchise season, my file was corrupted, and out of mir miraculous details, uh, the team decided not to get hurt midseason, so we are restarting the franchise. This is week one, game one of the 2020 season, where Ben Roethlisberger and TJ White of the Pittsburgh Steelers are taking off Saquon Barkley, Denny Dimes, and Golden Tate of the New York Giants. So as we see here, we are playing the home game at MetLife Stadium, Steelers, Giants, coming up next. Boswell lines up the kick, and it is up, and the 2020 season has begun for the New York Giants. The rookie cornerback Holmes in the back going to take it out to the 25-yard line. Saquon in the backfield, single back formation, tight end set right. Man in motion over to the left side, and it is going to be a handoff to start the year off with Saquon. And pushing through a defender is going to be Matt at Mika. Fitzpatrick, and he is going to bring down after a nine-yard gain. Strong right formation, and another handoff right up the middle, and Casey Hayward is going to tackle him, but with the forward progress, that is going to be a first down. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers to the left, and a screen set up right away for it looks like Shepard, and Shepard's going to be taken down immediately, no yards gain. Third and ten, shotgun to five. Step back, dropping Golden Tate is a receiver caught in a first down. I formation over to the right side of the little stretch play, setting up his blockers perfectly. Saquon up the sideline and finally taken down after a gain of 30 plus. He has already 47 yards on the ground. So a little bunch set here, shotgun set, and a little flip over to Golden Tate. A little quick move over there, and that's going to be making Terrell Edmonds look a little bit stupid for a second, but taken down after a gain of four. Over to the middle is going to be Caden Smith with the uh, first down reception, and right up the middle on the left side is going to be Saquon. Looks like a big tight end set right, two tight ends with the eye formation. Looks like a toss. And Saquon's going to be tripped up and finally put down after a gain of nothing. Over to the right side, it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. And Golden Tate's going to get the reception. And Warmly is going to be met with an injury. Cantanzaro up with a PAT. And the kick is good. And the Giants take a 7-0 lead. Let's see how the Pittsburgh Steelers come out and answer this. Ben takes a step back over to the middle and... Carter was there, and Carter coming over from the left outside linebacker position to play middle. I uh, just wasn't – Coach uh, Frank Williams was not happy with uh, David Mayo's production over the practice week, so he decided to put in the rookie for the middle linebacker spot. And as you see, James Conner just weaving and winding through, getting a first down. Shotgun set, looks like tight end set right. And that's one person we need to look at after today. And hold up a second. Jabril Peppers taking it at the top spot. And he is going to get down with the interception. The first turnover for the Giants. Saquon Barkley just pushing through defenders and pushing past to the third part. And finally getting taken down after a first down. Another handoff over to the left side. Elijah Penny, what a block and what a cutback. My goodness, making defenders look some stupid. Bunch right set over the shotgun formation. And over to the middle is going to be a reception. And that is going to be Darius Slayton with his first reception on the year. Second and eight after the first down run for two yards. Going to be... Danny Dimes over to the left side and immediately going to be hit again. Darius Slayton for another reception. Third and two. And it looks like a quarterback draw right up the left side. And that is going to be a first down. Moving and scooting is going to be Danny Dimes for that first down run. Three step back and just a dump off to Evan Ingram again. What a difference maker that tight end is. 
Ooh, option play here. And Danny Dimes hits and gets hit. And my goodness, what a fumble. And that is going to be uh, Stefan Tuit with the fumble or forced fumble, excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see how this defense is going to uh, counter at the, immediately after the turnover. And that is going to be it for this first quarter. What a quick and fast-paced game this has been. James Conner up the middle and going to be taken down before the first down mark. Third and two, and that is going to be a balanced set. I formation and pushing right through Blake Martinez is going to be James Conner. Now a balanced set ace formation here, single back. And Ben Roethlisberger, five-step drop, and immediately one-on-one -on -one coverage versus James Bradbury versus Washington, and Washington's not going to come up with it. Second and ten, and a draw play for James Conner, trying to push past that first line defense, and going to be taken down by the rookie Dexter, or excuse me, a second-year man out of Clemson, Dexter Lawrence. And finally, time has gone away and immediately it is going to be, we just talked about him, the man from Clemson, Dexter Lawrence, with the sack. Screen pass over to the left side, and Saquon Barkley's got some defenders, pushes past the third tier, and he is going to be caught from behind for a gain of 20-plus. What a haul missile down the left side. It's going to be Bud Dupree with the first sack of the year for the Steelers. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and that is going to be a defender. All you could do, Joe Hayden, is when you get burnt like that, you got to get him in the end zone, and that is going to set up a first, or excuse me, Stefan Nelson, and that is going to set a first and goal at the one-yard line, and stuffed is going to be Saquon. So third and goal from the four. Got to wonder what the uh, Giants are going to do here and immediately pass to their tight end. We just talked about him earlier. Evan Ingram with the second touchdown pass from Danny Dimes. We just talked about this earlier this game. What a difference maker he could be. So two tight end set, right shotgun formation. What a different formation we're not used to. And Ben Roethlisberger over to the right side. James Conner just taking what he's got and takes a one-yard gain. Ace formation, two tight end set left here. And it looks like Ben Roethlisberger is setting a man in motion. That is Juju Smith-Schuster, the talented young wide receiver. But over to the right side, one-on-one -on -one co coverage. And Washington is going to make them pay. Looks like a power formation immediately hit in the backfield is going to be James Conner after a loss of two. A four down set, four linemen down the ground, and over the middle is going to be Smith-Schuster, or excuse me, Deontay Jackson, and he is going to be hit hard by Jabril Peppers. Big nickel set here, and James Conner taking the stretch left side and hit by the rookie McKinney and Jordan Love making combined stop. Third and three, big man set, and just pushing past, but not going to get it. That looks like the nickelback Jordan Love making another play. So in fourth and one from the 42-yard line, or excuse me, 42-yard attempt from Boswell, and the kick is good. So 14 to three as the Giants come back out, balance set, and once again the handoff from Barkley, and he is going to be met. Stefan to it again with a stop. Five wide set over to the right side, one-on-one -on -one coverage. And looks like he is going to be hit with a flag. Joe Hayden, you got to know when to hold him, and you got to know when to fold him. And you know your boy is getting a pass interference after he tugged on the jersey. So second and seven. Shotgun set here. Danny Dimes back to drop one-on-one. -on -one. Over to the right side, and that is going to be a reception for looks like Danny, or excuse me, Golden Tate. Left side, one on one, and that is another reception for Golden Tate to the two yard line, and a goal line stand for Elijah Penny. And big boy get to moving, truck, truck, truck him as he gets in for the score, making this a 21 to 3 lead after Cannonzaro's Phil Gold, or excuse me, PAT. So uh, five wide 
Ben Roethlisberger hits him over on the left side, and that is going to be a five-yard gain. Line holds, and again, James Conner making a guy miss, but Blake Martinez not letting him go that early, and he finally takes him down after a first-yard gain. Over to the left side is going to be an immediately hit for Deontay Jackson. And second and five with 44 with about 48 seconds left to go. Ben Roethlisberger is going to be sacked on the play. Dalvin Tomlinson is going to get him. Over to the right side, one-on-one, -on -one and smack it. Get out of here, he says. James Bradbury saying why he's the number one corner on the team. Play action after the punt, and hit is going to be Golden Tate, who zooms inside, and the clock runs out. I'm not sure if he should have just gotten out of bounds and taken a long field goal or what he was trying to do there, but just a mental lapse on the field. But that is going to be it for this first half. What an exciting game so far. 120 passing yards to 59, 82 rushes to 39. And let's look at this halftime report. Falcons taking the lead 21-10 to 10 as the final against the Seattle Seahawks. Eagles up. Three against the Washington football team, 24-21. Uh, Bengals and Charger, looks like Cincinnati gets a, gets a loss, excuse me, as just uh, Joe Burrow is going to take the first game a loss. Kansas City Chiefs, everybody's got their eye on them, 31-17, or excuse me, 37-31, the final for the Texans. What an upset there. And the 49ers steamroll in the Arizona Cardinals. So as the second half comes out, the Steelers get the ball to start. And it's going to be a draw play for James Conner, who's just not getting going. This defense has been strong against the run. Second and 10, James Conner's draw play. And Dexter Lawrence take him from behind, but that is going to be it for his day. He has a tricep strain, and he is actually going to be out for four weeks. So B.J. Hill comes in, but oh my goodness, DeAndre Baker, take it from him. The cornerback from Georgia all the way down, pick six, making them pay. Kenizaro, the kick up and good, giving them a 28-3 lead. You got to wonder how Big Ben is going to bounce back after that pick six. Starting out with a, oh my goodness, hauling over from the left side is going to be Jabril Peppers calling him a jabroni as he takes the sack. Third and four, James Conner up to the right side, and that is going to be a tackle after getting past the linebacker position. So third and 11, Ben Roethlisberger takes back over to the left side, and that is going to be a quick hit, but going to lead to a punt. I formation here, and this is going to be a handoff to Barkley. And again, Stephon Truitt going to make his way through. And oh, what a quick fake. Darius Slate. Darius Slayton's going to make a name for himself, getting that first down, pushing past the cornerback over there. And this is just a simple stretch play over to the left side. Williams is going to take him down. So tight end set right, two wide, two wide receivers set right. And one-on-one -on -one coverage is going to be that quick hit stop route on the left side for Lido Shepard. Or, excuse me, Sterling Shepard. Play action. Golden Tate's just going to take it as it comes. Wide open over the middle and gets to the six-yard line. Play action over to the right side. And that is going to be right over the top for Evan Ingram's second touchdown. Danny Dimes' third touchdown on the day. And again, Canizaro is perfect on the day. Five PATs up and good. Looks like a shotgun set bunch set now. And Ben Roethlisberger is going to get it right over the middle and it's going to be caught by Washington. And again, this defense has held pretty strong against this pass and play, um, except for a couple of big hits. And James Conner just getting hit, and that is going to be, excuse me, we misinterrupted this. Dexter Lawrence tried to come in, and he is out for the day. And the immediate 
play after that. David DeCastro, the right guard, has been taken out for this moment. That is the first reception for Juju Smith-Schuster on the day. And again, this defense is held strong against him. Cornerbacks were being the ones in question when brought up on the defensive skills against him. Pitch over to the right side, and that's going to be one-on-one -on -one and pushed hard after the hit stick. It's going to be B.J. Hill, the replacer of Dexter Lawrence as of right now. James Bradbury, one-on-one -on -one coverage, saw the screen, tried to pick it, and he missed, and Washington made him pay. That is going to be Roethlisberger's first touchdown and the first touchdown allowed by this defense. So minute 26 left of the third quarter and a draw play. Look at Saquon go and Mika Fitzpatrick unable to pick him down, and that is going to be Terrell Edmonds, or Terrell Edmonds, excuse me, after the ability to take him down and catch him. So a little slash up the middle, and that is going to be a first down. Second and 10 after the um, incomplete pass over the middle. And just, again, dinking and diming them. As you know, Danny Dimes likes to do a big eye formation. Tight end over to the left side, making a balance set. And that is going to be just a weak zone right up the middle. And Terrell, or excuse me, Trevin Williams is going to be taking him down. Over to the right side, one-on-one, -on -one, and unable to get the catch is going to be Golden Tate. Sending Kenan Zaro up for just a quick chip, and the kick is good, giving them a 38-10 to 10 lead. So as the kick was good, Ben Roethlisberger, a quick slant over to the right side, James Bradbury, allowing Washington to make him pay once again another reception. And again, not looking too high again for right now is going to be Bradbury. Golden finally taking him down. Looks like a nickel formation here. Uh, two defensive ends in and four linebackers. Over the middle, one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's going to make him pay, but not going to get the first down. Third and one, Ben over and just slap down is going to be Grant Haley. Another Penn State guy out of, or excuse me, another dime cornerback who made it and fourth and one is going to be in and denied defense holding strong balance set over to the left side Saquon Barkley taking it up and getting five yards immediately just kind of grinding the clock out another balance stretch play and TJ White making his presence known for the third time today <clears throat> Ace formation, three tight end set, bouncing off of one and finally taken down by Devin Bush. Now fourth and one with a 28-point lead, handoff by Elijah Penny, and again another first down. That's a big old fullback to try to stop there, rumbling, tumbling, stumbling right up the left side. A little fake with a sweep, and a right up the middle is going to be Barkley, who gets a five-yard gain. Third and six, back up. And right over the middle is going to be a first down by Toiloyo. Over to the right side, one-on-one, -on -one, and hit and recepted is going to be Sterling Shepard from the one-yard line goal. It is going to be a handoff for Barkley, unable to spin off and not able to get in, so it's going to be second and goal. A little flip out to the left side, and look at those linemen do what they want. Will Hernandez with the first block, and Saquon singing all the way to the touchdown. First and ten, a bunch out. And again, we haven't really talked about Eric Ebron, the one. Oh, my goodness, get off of me, says De Deontay Jackson. And he is going to score all the way to a touchdown. Wow, one-on-one -on -one coverage. And, again, we some praises of DeAndre Baker this entire time. And one-on-one -on -one coverage, actually, excuse me, is zero coverage, man up, and you're going to miss a tackle and allow him to get 70-plus yards is a bit sad to see. But Deion Lewis is coming in for Saquon, giving him a breather. It looks like that is going to be it for his day. And Dion over on the left side getting a stretch play in and just staying in bounds, gain a 13. Just letting this clock run out. We got 
three seconds left to go. Drop back over to the right side, getting Corey Coleman. A receiver you don't hear much about lately, but this is the in-game stats. 232 yards passing, 186 on the ground, a 6.8 average per play, and two takeaways from this defense. Uh, Daniel Jones, an almost perfect day, 23 of 28. 241 yards, three touching or three passing touchdowns, zero interceptions, and a long of 29. And again, not the greatest stats as far as like length wise, but again, he did exactly what he needed to. Saquon Barkley, the workhorse, 27 of 153, and one touchdown. Elijah Penny, the big man coming out of the middle. One touchdown for him. Deion Lewis comes in at the end of the game. 2 of 18. Danny Dimes with the one fumble, but he does have eight yards rushing. Golden Tate, 7 of 94 with one touchdown. He had that one-on-one -on -one coverage in the end zone. Sterling Shepard is 4 of 30. Uh, Darius Slayton, 4 of 48, which is pretty good because we didn't expect him to have a breakout game. Evan Ingram, the two touchdowns, four receptions, 32 yards. Corey Coleman, Tololo, uh, Penny, and Barkley all with one reception. On the defensive side of things, let's look at the tackler of the day. It's going to be James Bradbury, Dexter Lawrence, Deontay Baker, Jordan Love, and Marcus Golden all with four or more tackles. Lorenzo Carter, Dalvin Tomlinson, and James Bradbury with some tackles for a loss. Three sacks on the day, Tomlinson, Peppers, and uh, Lawrence. And DeAndre Baker and Jabril Peppers both with interceptions. So we're going to give the defensive uh, player of the game going to be DeAndre Baker. Let's look at the Steelers' uh, stats on the day. 16-23 for 235 for Roethlisberger. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, 95 passer rating. 17 rushes for 58 yards is going to be James uh, James Conner. Deontay Johnson with a breakout performance again. One broken tackle, a long of 70 plus. Um, James Washington, four of 74. And again, the key thing though is seeing Juju Smith-Schuster, two of 19. Uh, Hilton, Bush, and TJ Watt all great game today. Again, pretty good. Um, pretty good coverages this defense held pretty strong against the run but there are a couple of bad defensive penalties from this uh secondary so i hope you guys enjoyed this game i enjoyed bringing it back to you guys i hope you guys catch me next week when we go to soldier field and we take on the chicago bears so with that being said guys leave a like if you did comment if you want subscribe if you haven't and i will catch you guys next video